Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be reviewing any trans from IMOB. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win one of three licenses that I'm going to be giving away at the very end of this review. I want to give a huge shout out to the ladies and gentlemen over at IMOB for sponsoring yet another video for uh, their great piece of software here. And again, just a huge thanks to them. And with that, we're going to jump right into the review here. Any trans is an all-in-one iOS content management software here that allows you to get full control of your iOS device and I've had the privilege to take a look at it in the latest version. It's been updated for iOS 8 and all that great stuff here. And it is a really, really phenomenal tool for full export and import controls for your iOS device. And keep in mind, it's compatible with both Mac and PC and you can use this on an iPhone, iPad and iPod. So it's a really all-in-one great management system. and. Again, I'm just skimming the surface here. We're going to go ahead and take a look in full control and show you what it can do here. So you can see some of the feature listing here. You can take control of your entertainment. You can transfer music from your iPhone, iPad, iPod to your computer and vice versa from your computer to your iOS device, whatever it may be, iCloud content, apps and documentation, personal information, and even file system control. Really, really amazing. Again, an all-in-one piece of software. That's a really great part of it here. So with that, let's jump right into the app itself. So here we have the AnyTrans application. And first off, you have the control of your iTunes library. So you can view all your media within your iTunes library from music, videos, apps, etc. And you can even use this to import to your device or again, vice versa, exporting from your Mac or send it to your Mac or send it to your device, however you want to do it here. And keep in mind what's different between this and iTunes is it gives you really, really f full system control vert on your iOS device. You al allows you to not worry about all that syncing issues that iTunes may have and kind of the permission issues at times when you get a new iOS device or you get a new Mac. This allows you to just go straight and make it very, very simple and easy to transfer whether you're taking all your music off of your iPhone and putting it onto a new Mac or PC or again, doing it vice versa. It really is a easy to use UI here. As you can see here, it shows you your phone or device once it's plugged in. It'll show you the battery information, the storage information. You can refresh right here and you can also view uh, other information regarding your device here. So if you want to get the device info, this will show you all of your device info, UDID, all that good stuff. Your settings here, you can adjust the settings within the AnyTrans app. This is really cool because it allows you to adjust certain things. So for example, when you export apps to iTunes, you can say whether you prefer export to be the only the program itself or the app and the, the program and the data. What this means, for example, let's say you're playing, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what's a big popular game right now or Flat, Flappy Bird, you know, when that was a big game, the new one, whatever the new one is, uh, the, the copter one, you can, let's say you have your high score in there, you can export just the program itself, the application, the iTunes, or you can have it get the, by default, it gets the app and the data, meaning the high scores, all of that good stuff. So that's probably what you want on by default. But again, if not, you just want to get the app itself, you can adjust that. There's also transcoding, which I'll talk about this in a second. This is for video formatting and your export settings. So you can adjust all of this as well. And again, you can just save this once you're done. And last but not least, you can eject the device when you're done using it. So you have these four buttons right here within the application that allow you to export content as well as import content. You can con uh, export content to iTunes. You can export content to your Mac. So the difference between this being directly into iTunes and or just on your Mac or PC locally. Uh, and you can actually choose the folder you want to export to. And it's a really great for backup. Really, 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 really great for manual backups because iTunes at times has real issues with this or syncing issues. This allows you to take full control and do manual backups. You can do content to your device. So meaning you can take a content and put it onto your device from iTunes. And last but not least, you can add content to your device. So this allows you to import content easily from your Mac or PC and simply take it and then import it into your iOS device. So again, it's a really, really great feature there in itself. Now at the very bottom here, you have the click a category to below to start managing, managing your device. You can easily view all your content. This is everything on my iPhone. So for example, I can click on my photos here. I can see my camera roll. I can click on my camera roll and it gives me a preview of my camera roll here. So you can see, I can see everything here on my camera roll. I can preview the photos. It gives me, that's what I really like about this. It shows me the photos. It shows me the format, the name. It shows me all the information regarding my photos. So I can easily view it here when I'm manually selecting things I want to back up or import or export, whatever it may be here again. And once you're ready to export content, you can see you can just simply select the categories you want to export and then where you want to export it in this case, if you're exporting it to your PC or Mac. So really dead simple controls when it comes to exporting and backing up. And what's so great about this 
is there's a lot of other stuff that's kind of built into any trans. So for example, if you want to add content to your iOS device here, let's say I have this video that I did, this anti-chamber video, and I say open here, you can see it's gonna start preparing to, and it's gonna analyze this file. And what it does, if this video isn't compatible on let's say the device itself, you can see it's gonna convert it automatically. That's what's really great. So you can take any video format that you have on your Mac or your PC, whether it is a camcorder video or whatever. And you know you may have the issue where you want to put a movie on your iPhone or iPad and it's not compatible. This takes care of that. Any trans in the process of transferring it over, it will convert the file to something that's optimized for your device personally. So whether it's a retina display or a, you know, a smaller screen or a bigger screen on the iPad, it takes care of all of that for you. It starts converting that and then will automatically import it into your iOS device where you then can view it for your viewing pleasure. So movies, videos, music videos, whatever you have on your Mac or PC and you want to import on the video end, it automatically takes care of that. And that's a huge, huge pro uh, in any trans overall. Again, it'll do this for a while, it'll convert it, so you need to be patient, and after a while, it'll import it, and you can see once the converting is done here, it'll then go ahead and import it into your device, so be patient as it do does all this, and you wanna make sure you don't unplug your device in this process. So all in all, AnyTrans is a really great all-in-one solution for backing up, importing, and exporting your device and, and really getting full control of it because, again, it gives you overall control of your iOS device. You can even jump into your iCloud here or previous backups. So this is if you use iCloud, for example, if you use Apple's built-in cloud backup system, you can actually view all of your iCloud data in Explorer. So it gives you full control over your iCloud and allowing you to manually view that and see all that data that's backed up into the cloud. And you can easily take that from iCloud and export it. So if you use iCloud, you can simply log in right here. You can view previous backups and you can jump into the system here, which allows you to get full root access to your iOS device. As you can see here, I now have an explorer-like access to all the system and root files in my iPhone here so I can manually go through and explore the photos and get content off this way if I want to. So it's it's more of a traditional folder style view if you want to get full access to this, which is something that iTunes doesn't allow you to do at all. So you can see here, if you have been a jailbroken phone or anything of that nature, you'll see all of those files and all that great stuff in the system folder itself. So again, whether it's your personal data, like if you want to get your messages or if you want to get your photos or podcasts or whatever information you want to export your contact information, this is a really great way to get full access to your device and, and manually back up what's important to you. So let's get down to the pros and cons when it comes to this application. And really, in this case, obviously the pros outweigh the cons. In my personal experience using said application and for my usage, backing up and getting manual control over my data, I really had experienced no cons, no bugs, no crashes. It really handled everything perfectly. As far as pros go, it has an easy to use user interface. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Those of you who may be coming from iTunes or whatever it may be, super solid interface, whether you're a power user or just an everyday iOS user. All-in-one system. It's an all-in-one package. You're paying for something that gives you export and import controls. There's applications out there that will allow you to do just do one, like allow you just to get that music off of your uh, iPhone. This does everything and handles everything. Again, it gives you full control over the system files, iCloud, uh, other backups, contacts, and other personal information. And last but not least, it does that video optimization, which is a really, really cool feature in itself. So when you're importing any video from your Mac or PC onto your iOS device, it optimizes it perfectly for your retina display, for your bigger resolution or smaller resolution, what have you, and it, it takes care of all of that. Again, it's really affordably priced here, so you can see here, I'm gonna head over to the site. AnyTrans comes in a personal license for $40 and a family license at $60, so you can save and get more licenses for your family PCs or, or Macs, whatever it may be here. And it really is a awesome, awesome piece of software. Again, I give it two thumbs up if I had to rate it out of five, I would definitely give it a 4.5. It is a near perfect application here, guys. It is really, really, you know, it, it's tailored for somebody who wants full control of, of their device and really wants to take data off and for, you know, storage purposes and all that. And really when it comes to backing up your data and, and making sure your data is safe and secure, that in itself really is priceless. So all that said, thanks a lot for watching this AnyTrans review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to give another huge shout out to the folks over at iMobi for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to give away three licenses. So 
the way to enter the giveaway is really, really simple. Be subscribed to this YouTube channel right here. I'm hoping you already are. Uh, follow at Digital Dojos on Twitter. I'll leave a link down below, as well as a link to the tweet that I'm going to be posting out that I'm asking you to retweet. And that's all it is. You need to follow us on Twitter and retweet the link that I'm going to drop down below. Basically, it's going to be the tweet pertaining to this video right here. And it's really simple. It takes a couple of seconds, a couple of clicks, and you enter yourself in the chance to win any trans, the three licenses I'm gonna give away. On Friday, I'm gonna review all the retweets and I'm gonna enter the names in, in a randomizer and select uh, three lucky winners from there. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll announce the whole winners on Twitter, on the Twitter Digital Dojo's account and contact you personally. So again, follow us retweet and be subscribed to this channel and that's all it takes. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, check out all our links around me right now and I will catch you all in the next one.